Hey guys, welcome to SNH Adventures. Today our adventure is a craft. We're gonna be making these fun lantern pumpkins. This is a set that we're gonna make. This is after they've set out for a year or two and have this really pretty weathered look. So depending if you keep them indoor or outdoor, this is the product that you'll get. We'll keep you linked below for all of the stuff we're using. Okay guys, ready to make some pumpkins? adventure today. Okay, lead the way. Jenna, when I say left or right, great. No, you okay? We're taking it this way. For this project, we are using a one by six by six half inch cedar fencing. We like to let the kids help us unload. They think it's fun and I like that it teaches them some good work ethic. We then bring our materials over to our table saw. We rip six pieces for the front and back of the pumpkins and then four wider pieces for the sides of the pumpkins. We like to get all of this prep work done before we even bring the kids into the shop. Otherwise they're a little antsy and they get uh, impatient waiting for us to finish cutting. Then we bring them over here to the table saw and we cut them to length for the small, medium, and large size pumpkins. If you would like to make an exact replica of what we are doing, you can find all of our measurements and instructions in our plans, which we will link down below. Now we have everything cut out. You're gonna take three of your narrow strips. We'll put them down on the table. Uh, touching, put them close together. You'll take your template, which I will link below our templates for you. Um, we just lay them on the wood, trace it out, um, and then we'll take these pieces over to the bandsaw and cut them. So you'll do that for the small, medium, and large size pumpkin. So let's go cut them out in the bandsaw. Because the nose pieces, there's a couple of the pumpkin's noses that's enclosed, it's not going to the edge. We're gonna drill a hole in the center of it here and then we're gonna cut it out with the jigsaw. You could use a scroll saw too if you have that. Uh, the jigsaw is just a little bit faster, cuts a little faster than the scroll saw and that's not too detailed, so that's what I'm going to use. So first I'm gonna drill my hole. So we have our pumpkins now. We've cut out all of the faces. So what we're gonna do next is glue them together and then we'll put them in a clamp and let them sit for just a minute to hold. And then we'll start assembling the boxes. This is the part where we get to let the kids help and it's fun. Um, so, follow along as we go here. Okay, you ready? Okay, well I wanna glue it. Okay, put some glue and we're just gonna, look, we gotta open the top first. Okay, so just put a little bit of glue down each of these lines, and we just use a little bit, okay? Okay, so to help support this middle piece, because it's just being held together with wood glue right now, we're going to take this little piece here, we'll put just a little bit of wood glue on. Hi, I'm Lucas. I said it in the camera. We lay it across the back here and then we've shortened our nail length just a little bit. We'll just give it this. So now we're gonna put a piece that looks like this on top and bottom to nail our slats into. Um, and then we'll just go around making the box. So you're gonna do two wider pieces on either side, three narrower across the front and then or across the back and then three with your face on the front. Gemma, do you want to help me shoot this? Okay. You your hands to your lips. Okay, yeah. pull the trigger, Gemma. Right here. Hey! Good I job. Help. Yep. If you come around, bud. Let, let Gemma do this side and you can do the other side. Okay, you'll do this side with me. Okay. Um, I want to Pull the trigger, Gemma. Can I actually do the other side? 
Perfect. Okay, it makes more. I makes a louder sound. There. Perfect. Okay. Here you go. Mommy, I'm waiting a little bit because I want to do a one punch. You see that? Okay. When you pull the trigger, let just let go quick. That's what? all it takes. You don't have to hold it down, okay? We've got our assembled box here. So we're gonna just put the attach the face. Hi. We'll do that by doing Hi, wood glue. Remember to be kind of light-handed with the wood glue. A little goes a long way. All right, put our face on. Square it up. And then we nail it with a nail gun. Okay, Luke. Go ahead, bud. Hold on, wait till I'm ready. Okay. My turn, my turn. Mom, the next one's my turn. Got it? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so here we have our pumpkin in a box. And um, we're going to put on our tops and bottoms so that it will look like this one over here and add our little hat on top. So um, we do a three quarter inch overhang. So on our blocks, you can see we've drawn, we've measured and done three quarter inch lines on either side and across the top. Um, quick tip, we like, you want to see the rough side to match the box. So on the bottom, the rough side goes um, up. And on this one, on the top, the rough side will go down. So with this one, um, I just put them both up on the block so we can kind of uh, work the same and look underneath, match up our lines, and then we'll just shoot that with some nails. Okay, Gemma, do you want to come hit it? Hold on, Dan. Hold on just a minute, bud. Step closer, Gemma. Can I there do you go. Can okay. I do it? You all get a turn. Okay, do it again. I want me to do it. Okay, go ahead, Luke. Perfect. My turn. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do to finish it off is just sand um, our edges and round it off. You don't want to sand it too much because you want to keep the rough uh, look on it, or that's how I like it. to do here is create adventures with kids. Sometimes it's important to remember that things don't always go as planned. Um, we had a little extra help. We got pieces of wood that got colored on that weren't supposed to, so we had to sand that off. So this one ended up having a little bit smoother finish. Um, it's not always easy, but it's important to remember to try and keep patience with them. Um, as they're learning, this project is for them. It's not for me, so it doesn't matter if it turns out exactly perfect or exactly how I want. We're about creating the memories and helping them learn how to use the tools and uh, use their creativity. And this, um, that's how they turned out. Hope you love them just like we do.